This video shows the setup of MTech's BioPro TT flow measurement system, a plug and play solution to measure and monitor flow rates within your laboratory application. The BioPro TT FlowTrack Plus provides real time monitoring of the volumetric flow rate. It features an integrated display and a compact, space saving benchtop design ideal for use in laboratory environments. No additional hardware or software is needed. Completing the system is the BioPro TT Clamp-On Transducer, which provides reliable flow measurement on flexible tubes thanks to a media contact free and hygienic measuring principle. Utilizing the ultrasonic transit time method, this system meets the strict requirements of your flow measurement application. All of the connections required to set up the system are located on the back of the device. Once the power supply is connected, plug the sensor cable into the designated socket. The red dots on the plug and socket must align for a proper connection. Before you attach the sensor to the tube, refer to the flow direction and confirm that the tube you're using is the one the sensor was adjusted and calibrated for. Open the sensor and remove any residue in the flow channel. Once the flow channel is clean, position a straight section of the tube into the sensor's flow channel. We recommend an inlet section of 15 times the inner diameter of your tube on either side of the sensor. Insert the tube into the flow channel by using slight pressure from above. Close the lid and secure it with a lock. Switch on the device using the power button on the back of the unit. The screen functions on the front are moving between different screens, changing and confirming values and modes with enter, and zeroing the system before starting the measurement. By using the arrow keys, you can switch to the calibration table screen and select the suitable table for your application. A calibration table consists of information about medium, tubing, temperature, and flow measurement range. Up to seven different tables can be stored on the sensor from the factory. In addition, pay attention to the coupling displayed as RSS. The received signal strength must be more than 50% for a flow value to be displayed. Before starting each measurement, the zero flow adjustment must be carried out to correct initial offsets of the device. Ensure that the pump is turned off and the fluid inside the tube does not move. Now you can start the measurement by increasing pump speed and benefit from a reliable flow control with the BioPro TT plug and play solution. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or need additional help with setup.